What's up traders welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the market maker cycle in action. So let's cut to the chase. First things first, we have to highlight the original consolidation. In this case, it's the Asian session. So when the price leaves the Asian session, you have to anticipate the manipulation. If you're bearish, you want the price to trade twice below the box. Same for a bullish day. You want the price to run the stops twice above the previous session, which is the orange box. Why twice? It's because the second attempt is a clear manipulation and a stop and especially for smart money traders who knows that they should sell above the box. So let's see what happened during the London session. So we have price taking out the top side of the Asian box and then fails to take out the sell side liquidity, which also formed relative equal lows. And equal lows are the best type of liquidity. So we have a sweep above the box and no sweep below the box. So we need a second sweep above the box before considering selling. So let's see what happened next. We have price trading higher but failing to take out the high to form a second sweep. So right now the 5 minute structure is bearish because we have a market structure shift. Supply and demand traders call it a change of character. So right now you can consider selling even though the market structure is now bearish. Because if you look closely, we have relative equal highs for buy side liquidity. We still don't have a second sweep yet. So right now we have equalized on both sides of the market during London session. So what do you think is going to happen next? The algorithm doesn't like to leave that type of liquidity behind, especially when there's no manual intervention like the news drive. So let's continue. So we have a first sell side taken, which is also triggering the sell stops. And it's also happening during the equity open, which is also our trading time. So what do you think makes it obvious that it's a stop hunt? It's the huge candle week. That's a typical trap move. At one point, that candle was a full bearish candle. So if you're emotional, it's going to make you click the sell button. And the moment you do, it's going to come back inside of the range and your sell order is trapped right there at the bottom of the wick. So let's see what we have here. We have one sweep below and one sweep above. So this is our current condition. With respect to the market structure, since we only have one sweep above and one sweep below, this is how you can internally view the current price section while waiting for the second liquidity to run. So let's continue. So at this moment you have two liquidity runs. This is when you're going to start looking for your entry patterns that we've went through many times in the previous videos. So the loyal subscribers know which two patterns I'm talking about. So let's take time. We have price pushing down. So for practice your homework is in here on the one minute. So we have a retest on the Asian box, which is also called a psychological support and resistance. In this case, it's a psychological resistance. And finally clearing out the last liquidity, which is also a daily level. At this moment, I will look for buys, but the issue is the time, because it's outside our trading times. So let's see what happens the next day, because the cycle is still incomplete. A complete cycle must have price clearing out the original consolidation. In other words, come back to clear out the original liquidity, which is where the entire move started. Don't forget about the orange box because that's where everything started. So if price pushing up in a sloppy manner during the session that doesn't concern us. So you always have to mark your equity open at 9.30, which is also the time we start looking for our setups. So the only relevant period rate that I can spot near my price is this one right here, which is a fair value gap, and another one right here. And finally we have a rejection block above it, and also our original consolidation. So let's drop to the one minute. So if price trade inside of a 15 minute fair value gap at 9.30, this is too clean. So it gives you confidence that we might reprice higher. So I know for sure that they won't leave that open. So where's the bearish candle that traded into the liquidity? It's this one right here. So what's next? If we trade above that candle, which is the order block, we're in a trade. We don't have to wait for a retest. We had price pausing at the rejection block to reaccumulate before running the last liquidity. There are some more opportunities to jump in in this area too. And finally, we ran the original consolidation. Now here is some insight. You're probably asking yourself, but why didn't you use the second model, which is the ICT 2022 model, 
with the fair value gap below the order block after the market structure shift. A fair value gap is like an inefficient price range. So let me elaborate. A fair value gap is not always inefficient or needs to be rebalanced. It's only inefficient when we have one side of delivery. So the reason I didn't expect this fair value gap to be filled is because of the buying and selling inside of this consolidation. It makes that price range to be rebalanced. So since the fair value gap is inside of that area, I didn't expect price to come back and refill it. So let me show you something. We had another fair value gap right here. The reason why it didn't get completely filled is because it was partially rebalanced. It's because of this consolidation that traded before the fair value gap. So that whole price range is rebalanced. So the only range that's left inefficient is from here until here. So the part of the fair value gap inside of that box is rebalanced because of the consolidation. So there's both side of delivery. There's buying and selling inside of the range. So the buying and selling inside of that range is what made that fair value gap rebalanced. So that's why it filled that small portion to the pip and traded up. So the only area that needed rebalancing is between those two lines. So that's why it's filled to the pip. And then people say price is random and there's no algorithm. You decide what you want to believe. So that's it for this video guys. If you have enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment. Join the team by subscribing and let's share the peeps. Until I see you next time, that's Vidania.